Hello, Sam Tobert from Sound of Joy Music Services. And for this lesson, we're going to learn how to chord around a praise song for both piano and organ. So I'm going to be swapping modes in this very same video. So you've seen my last two videos where we've taken a hymn and we've taken you how you can uh, at gospelize the uh, song patterns of the one, six, five, four, that sequence of songs. Now we're going to take some of the earlier praise songs. So I'm going to choose Lord Prepare Me to Be a Sanctuary. I'm going to do it in E flat. I'm going to do this both for keyboard, piano sound, and for organ in this same video. So I may cut it in half how much I would normally cover. Again, E flat. Very comfortable with the scale. scales. Now you may think the melody different, but that's probably 90% of what the melodies most churches or congregational churches may use. Now again, piano is the the quintessential practice instrument because it makes you work to hold the chords. Once you move to the organ though, then you can have a whole same section of chords but a little bit more that you can add to it. I like doing octaves for better sound. Gotta watch the keyboard. Train both hands. Yes, I do practice scales with both hands. Which makes me more comfortable when I'm doing octave playing. Now, chording. Very basic first. See, I'm fighting with those chords because I'm not used to playing. Looks like I just lost a light. Turn on my backup. I'm not used to. Um, I'm not used to fighting chords. There we go. So I'm not in the dark. I'm not used to fighting chords. I used to. I'm, I'm used to chords just flowing. But I'm trying to give uh, my intermediate musicians an actual baseline point to work with when they when they're playing these type of songs. So. Again, melody leads at top. That's the chord I should have had. Will you be playing melody throughout the entire song? Of course not. But the melody helps you to decipher how many chord phrasing or how many chords you can apply to just a simple melody. Let's take the melody, let's take the chords a little bit more advanced. Let me slow down. slowing it down that's why I'm, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm falling on myself G7 
7 or F7 What did I do? I added more sevenths. Um, I think I added an actual um, diminished chord in there. Also, you see the chords as they pop up. It's just a way of embellishing this melody a little bit more. Believe it or not, uh, my uh, musician friends, the more music you put with a song, the freer a person singing it can can, can work around the song because they're not worried about having to. Uh, to push the song that much when the melody or with the chording around a melody is conducive to the path of the melody. Not a many, not 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 a lot of notes, not a lot of crazy notes. You're not going up and down, coming across. So when you begin to build your chords. You can now find, you know, again, am I using standard chords, standard chords? I'm using some contemporary chords. I'm using some jazz chords. I'm using some classical feel. You know this chord already from another key. So I gave you there a whole, what they call, a conicopia of chords, themes, classical. I gave you jazz. I gave you traditional. And then I went around with, with melody. No one does that on their bass hand when they're playing a song. But I do because I can hear every nuance of every time I do a different change. I hear it first. And because I practice certain movements uh, as a routine for me, I can pick and choose what I want to use. Now, I'm staying in the range. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, I know what happened. Turn that off. I have two programs running in the background, and I hit a section of buttons when I shut the organ down. Okay, we're going to get to the organ, though. Let me just turn off the last key. So... One more version of it, taking it to the higher range. I've been down here. Now, this is when you go higher. Now I get some fuller chords. Each time I turn to a different octave or in a different range, there's always more 
notes, more chords I can reach for because the, the further out you go from the melody, that's more chords that open up to help enhance the song. Now I'm going to give you the organ version. Let me switch off here. Okay. Now I can turn on the organ version. Let's bring up our organ notes. In fact, let me make a change here. I saw something as I was let you guys see this. So you can see where I'm working from. Whole different look. So we're going to select let's see. <laughs> get to the organ part of playing all of a sudden now different avenues open up because you can hold notes you don't have to constantly keep hitting them so I'm going to give you an organ and again I stress musicians go to the organ after you have spent some time with the piano don't just jump straight onto the organ because you're going to miss you know organ 101 number one is draw bar foot pedals and playing with both hands on two different manuals so get the piano in so that you know how to work one manual. Then when you go to the organ, all you have to learn is draw bars, how to use a foot pedal, where the notes are. And how to apply that to what you're doing. Just changing the tone, changing the tone up just a little bit. I want to make it a more solemn sound. Eyes, really, I may have to go in and find how to turn that down just a little bit right there. bass foot pedal see now that I've gone into the um, into the organ mode everything is changing how my approach is to the, to the song is changing now that I got a foot pedal doing bass I'm not constantly thinking how can I get a bass note in there and then jump to chords the bass note is right there for my foot pedal now I could do this run Change. 
nose. I can hold these notes for as long as I want to. This is why I say do piano first. Just a downward procession of chords. Same concept if you were uh, doing that on the piano, you can, you can do that same run on the piano, just be minus the, the bass sound. But again, the 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 whole concept is get the melody down, get your bass chords down. Yes, I'm staying away from the one four five, but that's again that is not a bad thing. But I believe that you got to be uh, you should um, what the word is um, graduate from the numbers and go up to the letters, which is the chord names. <laughs> And then hear the different color color tones, especially from an organ, that you can throw into any song. I'm going to change some of these color tones, pull out some of these draw bars as you're watching. Because again, this is done. The draw bars are being used as you're playing. That's our lesson for today. I think I'm, I'm just the last video for today anyway. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care.